Hey, what do you hear? What do you say? My Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Google+, Plus, your sister's ass, the Pony Express. Vic DiBetetto here for another segment of You Are What You Eat. You know, I read recently that Corona beer was actually experiencing a huge drop in sales because some people are actually associating the name Corona with the coronavirus. Can you imagine this? Doesn't that kind of prove that a percentage of our population is the very definition of unbelievably stupid? These shit pipers believe that the beer is the virus in another deep state conspiracy theory. It's unfortunate that Corona beer just happens to be the exact name of the pandemic virus, but it is what it is. At least Corona beer didn't decide on that name after the virus started. But did you know that there have been a whole bunch of products over the years that had very unfortunate brand names and the idiots who named these products really have no one to blame but themselves. I mean, what kind of advertising agency would come up with these names and what kind of CEO would approve them? Oh yeah, shit flavored pancakes makes a lot of sense to me. Anyway, here are some real examples of the worst branding in product history. How about a nice cold Virginia beer. Yep, Virginia beer. Imagine a beer that tastes like a codfish fillet inside a pair of dirty panties. Does it come in a hairy bottle too? Looking to drop some pounds? Well then, you need to get AIDS. That's right, folks. Just get some AIDS. The appetite suppressant for losing weight. Holy shit. A weight loss product that was called AIDS. That's a little scary. Who was the marketing genius on that campaign? Wow. Moving on. So you say you want a cock on the mountaintop? Well, I'd rather have a taint on the prairie or a clit in the valley. Looking for a nice hot beverage on a winter's eve? Gotta make some urinal tea. That's right, folks. Urinal tea when you just gotta have a nice hot cup of urine. And of course, you gotta get one of those white round urinal cakes from a public bathroom. Yum, yum. Makes a great late night snack. What's better than tea and cake? How civilized. Just add piss. Master Foods came up with a terrific idea. What's better than creamy white finishing sauce on just about anything? Maybe the company should change its name from Master Foods to Master Bait. And you can never entertain without semen dip. Yeah, and if you're having semen dip, you should also have Mega Pussy Chips. And after semen dip on Mega Pussy Chips, you got to wash it down with some Virginia beer. Talk about a party. Woohoo! I have a feeling this is how they ate at the Playboy Mansion every night when Hef was still alive. You cannot make this stuff up, folks. These are real products that were sold in real stores. It makes me wonder if there are other products out there that we just didn't find this time. Maybe diarrhea pudding, or how about some vomit chowder? And there's always that old standby from under cheese, you know. There's an old saying that goes, you are what you eat. I never really understood that. If I eat pizza, how am I pizza? But I'm not taking any chances. I guess I'll be staying away from the mega pussy chips.